What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. I know it has been a while, but today I'm actually gonna learn how to play another version of Pilon. You gotta love it. Y'all already know what day it is. It's Tutorial Thursdays. Welcome to A Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. If you are new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, just so you can know when I upload videos. And to all my day ones, thank you for all the love, all the support, all the patience. I know it's been a while since I've done a tutorial Thursdays. I'll explain that in another video. But man, I'm excited to be back and I'm excited to actually learn this pattern. But before learning this pattern, I did want to mention, because a lot of you have been reaching out about information about my drums, and just wanted to let you know that Moperk actually updated their website, and you don't have to necessarily place an order in a sense of waiting a couple times, waiting for a quote. You can actually have your drums right now. Just look at the online store. I'll have the information down below. And you can still custom order your drums. Yes, you can still have it your way. But again, if you don't have the patience, they have some drums in stock that you can just order off the bat. You know, most of, most of them are just, man, makes, makes, it, makes a brother want to get some more drums. Just letting you know. So please check down the link below. Just letting you guys know. It's going to be awesome how we're going to move things going forward. But back to the video. We're actually going to learn today a very different variation of Pilon. I've taught Pilon in the past. It's I'll show it right here. It's very influenced by uh, Tomas El Panga. But today we're going to learn something new and I actually forgot how to play it. So let me make a call real quick. Let me make a call. Hold on. Hello? Hey, Francis. What's up, man? Can you please come over? What do you mean, come over? Uh, I need you to teach me that pilon. Pilon? Yeah, that, that, that one you showed me that one time. Yeah, but I'm, I'm in Canada uh, right now. I know you're in Canada. What about a 10 hour drive? I can't, I, I can't do it. I know that's like hours away. Yeah, bro. I mean. I know. Forget it, man. I'm, I'm about to record I mean, something now. I'm in the middle of making a video. You can't. No, I can't do it. You can't? You can't come over? No, impossible. For real? Yeah. Please? No, bro, I can't do it. Pretty, 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 please? No, oh, sorry. Well, you know, let me know in advance and we'll figure it out. Okay. Maybe later this year. I'll see you. Cool, yeah. man. All right, okay. take care. Bye-bye. I guess uh, there's no video today, guys. There's no video. What happened? <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> okay, let's do it, man. I'm here, Eric. I'm ready to show you the pilon. Uh, it's a different way, you know. Um, even in Cuba, uh, uh, in the schools, uh, the teachers, uh, a lot of some, you know, the, the common pattern uh, we usually um, learn or teach is the that one with. Two strokes, dos golpes on the on the the hembra, which is good. But there's another way to play the pilon. used on some older uh, records if you listen uh, carefully to uh, Pacho Alonso and and then Los Bocucos uh, listen carefully and you'll see that uh, they, they make a different pattern in, in most of the, the songs they, they recorded so let's get into it all right Francis I am here to learn my brother yeah so you're talking about how it's a different variation of the pilon that you're just you know, rather than do do thing, do do thing. What makes this one different? 
Well, it's a uh, well. First of all, I actually I listen much more this pattern than than the and all the recordings of uh, Los Bocucos and and Pacho Alonso too. Uh, you'll listen, you'll hear more that pattern, and it's it's more it's a bit more like tight or it's like mas masacote, you know. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's a little different. So okay, um, can you show it. it to me? Yeah. So it it starts with the. Uh, an open tone, okay? And then so you have open, close slap, and then bass. Okay, so it's... Yeah. So basically I'm doing one open, then immediately I go to like a, 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 like a, like a, a tip, tip or yeah. close slap with your left hand, whatever uh -huh. accent you want to give yeah. it, to a close slap with your dominant hand, right? So it's... Yeah. And then that part, the second part is something that we're familiar with, with like a regular tumbao, which yeah. is finger, bass, finger, right? Yeah. Right? Okay, so it's... That's it. That's it, okay. Okay, so we... After doing that, we're gonna go immediately to doing an open on the tumba. Yeah. All right, okay. So the, right. the first time is on the open. Three, four... Okay. All right. So, after doing that open, what what happens next? That open here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So these two kind of go together then. So it's gonna be like. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. All right. So similar to like a tumbao, which is. Yeah. But you're doing the the. Here, and then instead of uh, starting with the, we could start like the very first time you do the pattern. You could start like a regular marcha, yeah, but no, then but when, but yeah. when it, you know, when it loops, it's gonna start on the right, 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 with right the open that. tone. Yeah, just so like when you open like a song, sometimes. Yeah. Okay. It's the same. It's the same. Okay. But so instead of ting ting here, it's nice. Okay, so until then, it's. Uh, like just like a marcha yeah so that's that's interesting because that that kind of helps you kind of go with the pattern to make it sound more yeah. like that variation of yeah pattern. okay but then after you do the, the the two opens here you're gonna do a, a ghost note you're, you have to bring back your bring back your right hand here and do a close just just put your like fingers a yeah, yeah like a, a ghost note okay to start again Oh, so that. Okay. So if I if I loop this, it's it's just like a regular marcha, but you you, you got a, a ghost note here. So. The... Mm -hmm. But we remember that we started with the open tone here because at the end of the loop we're gonna go. Okay, that's that's the second part. But the first part is just so okay. a ghost note here. And start again. So so when you're when you're done doing this, mm -hmm. I have to already start thinking this hand needs to start coming over here uh -huh. to set myself up to kind of go back to the beginning. Uh -huh. You're, that, that's the beginning of the of the match. That that, that, that um, ghost note just will kind of replace the op the first open tone we did. Nice. So if I if I if I leave the open tone here, that will be all the time like this. Okay. And if I leave on just the 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 ghost note. Leaves the thing more open, right? Yeah. So the first thing you do 
Okay, first thing first, you start with an open tone, but then when you come back here, go slow. You repeat that pattern, and then to finish, you'll do. And then you're done. You got you got to belong right there. Wow, so just by like adding, in, in my opinion, that, that ghost note, either making it a, a ghost note or making it open really kind of like changes the feel yeah. of everything. All right, so let me get this straight. Yeah. I start off like this. Mm -hmm. Right? And at this point yeah. is where I either decide to do the ghost note or the open but for the actual pattern itself it's normally a ghost note yeah. right here yeah and then the second time i do it i do an open yeah repeating the right. second time and then you're 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 you did a complete loop of of that variation yeah. of you okay. did actually a, a, that's the complete bar of a two three clave okay pattern that's All right. one one two three clave pattern so let me try to play it slowly and see if i got it right Right, and at that point is I do the ghost note, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And, and I, it's not a bass finger, it's, right? It's a yeah, your, your Your first beat is here. Okay. Then you start again. All right, so. That. You're done. I'm leaving. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going back to no, Canada. No, no, no. You can't go back to Canada. Not yet. <laughs> All right. So, um, this is awesome. This is awesome. Yeah. All right. So that's so, the that's you know the easiest that's the easiest way to do it. Mm -hmm. And then for sure people you know players will add some a uh, bit a bit of variations. So the, you know, as I tell you told you before, they, they'll uh, put two slaps. Mm -hmm. The second time they do the pattern, they they they'll put two slaps and then sometimes they you, you can add some bass but basically that's that's, the, it, that's, that's the, the pattern so it's like from this point is like the the, the foundation from yeah. here we can start building up adding our own little yeah. spices and but right and there you got the 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 the, the, the regular the regular the meat the meat of what we need to do below pattern and it's of course different than than the other one that is yeah. I mean but, it's, it's a lot different and yeah and I think this one, I thought that one was a lot, like very much relatable. Yeah. But this one is very similar, right? Yeah. And it has. And actually, feel. yeah, and, and you know, you can you can do it like one, one uh, two bars like that, or one or two bars. But you can, you know, if you put a variation, sometimes it, it will be a longer pattern of four bars, you know. Yeah, because I, I really. But the the thing, the difference, the main difference, I think, is the it's a little more spicy. It's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel, I feel with the, this variation, it's like a lot open to, I don't like to say the word imp imp improvisation, but yeah. it, it has space to just make it your own. Listen to uh, Ibrahim Ferrer, like in the older times with Los Bocucos, I got a, I got a playlist I can, I can share on, on Spotify if you want. Yeah, yeah. I got That'd a, I, I got a pilon. Put the, put the link down below. <laughs> I got a, a pilon uh, playlist, and when you, you listen like almost ten pilons, they they always play that pattern. They never play maybe one song or one, you know. Yeah. And the, and they won't mix it. I, I'm, you know, that's the, the way that that particular in like uh, conga player did that, that that rhythm. In like you were saying, like you could add like a different slap just to to kind of get if can you play an example of like just adding a little bit more to just that bass pattern. Yeah, so what they do sometimes is that they add with the with the two, three clave, they, they'll put two slaps. Okay. And they, they'll do it one time, yes. If you wanna help me, like, if you can count one time, uh, half time, mm -hmm. with your fingers, it's gonna help me to, uh, okay. okay, so it's one, two, three, four, So you, you can add some clave afterwise, you know, so yeah, people can... Yeah, so I've noticed that like on the third one, that's yeah. when you do... Let's do it now with, with the with the clave you'll, you'll have after. Okay. One, two, three, four.
so that makes a longer pattern you know yeah and i mean and it sounds just eat again it's like adding to what we just learned. yeah okay that that song uh, we were listening uh un, el, un compositor que se equivocó. Yeah. That's a un sonido caribeño. Yeah. Ca you know, uh, that typical sound, like it's a Cuban sound, but it, it feels like there's a little yeah, spice from yeah, somewhere yeah, else, yeah, you know? Like it's like, it feels flowy, very yeah. flowy, like a wave. Man, thank you, Francis. Thank you for teaching me something. Now you anything like, else? I gotta drive back like 10 hours back. Uh, uh, okay, so, uh, yeah, he, uh, he's gone. Well, guys, hope you guys learned something today. Y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you, Francis, for uh, driving all the way to Canada to show me some. Aria. Right, yeah.